10 Principles of Building Wealth There are numerous paths to wealth. There is no mystery. Everything you need to know and every tool you need to start from scratch and make money is already out there. Even people who think of themselves as average can get it. You must, however, reach out and get it. Realizing that actual wealth involves much more than just making money is crucial. We've all seen wealthy, unhappy, and financially middle-class people who are content. Hi guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode that will keep you in the finance game. This video will cover the top 10 principles for building wealth. Without further ado, let's start. 1. Invest in appreciating assets. Appreciating assets are investments that have increased in value since their purchase. Understanding the concept of appreciation is critical because it can have a significant impact on your company's bottom line. Consider if you paid $1 million for a piece of land, and now its worth is $15 million. The land would be considered an appreciated asset. Appreciated assets give you many good financing options such as a lower tax rate on the money you make from selling them, the ability to use them as collateral for loans to get cash without having to pay taxes, and many tax-advantaged sales options that let you pay less or even no taxes when you sell them. 2. Avoid conspicuous consumption. Don't forget about the pool and the country club membership. Oh, and what about the yearly international vacations? Remember to add the season tickets with box seating to the list. What about that second home in the mountains? You see where I'm headed with this. These costs pile up. Every day, you must choose whether to give in to the spending urge today or remain patient and enjoy tomorrow's wealth. Although tomorrow is never promised. It is preferable to prepare for it rather than be caught off guard. 3. Apply leverage to build wealth. You will not become wealthy by exchanging time for money. It would be best if you did it with others. It basically implies working smarter rather than harder. This means you can choose to invest and use other people's money without putting your own money in danger. Instead of exhausting the 24 hours a day, be time-wise and engage others. Use technological leverage, using other people's equipment to improve output. Knowledge leverage is even more helpful. It is when you use other people's talents, expertise, and experience that you may not have. As you can see, leverage enables you to build more money by utilizing resources other than your own. 4. Detach yourself from things you don't need. Do you know what liabilities are? They're what you need to separate yourself from. Letting go of certain liabilities will save you a lot of money in the long term. This doesn't mean you should live like a miser, though. Find out what makes you happy and do a little of it every day. The most excellent strategy to avoid buying stuff you don't need is to make a budget that works for you. 5. Identifying Common Money Pitfalls Great fortunes are frequently lost one dollar at a time. It may not seem like much when you order double mocha coffee, eat out, or watch a pay-per-view movie, but every little thing adds up. Dining out $25 a week costs $1,300 per year, which might go toward an extra credit card, auto, or numerous payments. If you're close to bankruptcy, avoiding this mistake is crucial. To avoid the pitfalls of overspending, start by tracking the small expenses that pile up rapidly, then progress to monitoring the big ones. Consider your options carefully before adding additional loans to your payment schedule. Finally, make a sound financial strategy. 6. Understand where your money is going. Every penny counts. If you don't believe me, Try operating without a budget and observe how awful your debt situation gets. After you've paid your bills and funded your retirement and investment accounts, you should spend money on fun or recreational activities. You might be surprised at how much money you're wasting by giving in to guilty pleasures. Understanding each cost will also allow you to better manage your money. You'll know how much everything costs and whether you require those luxuries. 7. Automate, automate, automate. Indeed, there are instances when it is challenging to keep up with the numbers. Because of this, a hands-off approach is required, particularly when it comes to financial matters. You may save money on expensive late fees and ensure you constantly pay your bills on time if you automate your financial processes. 
After getting everything set up, the only thing left to do is make minor adjustments here and there to ensure that everything is proceeding as expected. 8. Be courageous. Courage may be the most essential virtue if you want to do well in everything you do. Nobody ever becomes wealthy by simply following the crowd. It requires courage to venture down new roads and learn new talents. It takes guts to stand out in a crowd. It takes bravery to go the additional mile when others do not. In short, building money requires bravery. Without bravery, it is impossible to accumulate wealth. 9. Be disciplined. Wealth is the accumulation of numerous small decisions and acts over a lifetime. Your everyday behaviors will either make or ruin your success. I don't care how much money you win on a reality TV program. If you don't have the discipline to create and maintain wealth, you'll run out of money quickly. Saving, investing, reinvesting, and expanding your financial and business knowledge are all essential wealth building habits that need regular work. Wealth does not occur by chance. 10. Steward your wealth. Money is a tool that comes with the obligation to use it properly. You have the potential to bless yourself and your family's lives now and in the future by leaving a legacy of riches. You can go even further by broadening the circle to include your community. In other words, what you do with your money and its impact makes you wealthy. No matter how much riches you accumulate, someone will eventually inherit it. So, it is your job and privilege to spend your fortune in such a way that it impacts lives both now and in the future. 5 Signs You Are Guaranteed To Be Rich If you are like most others, you have probably wondered at some point in your life, will I ever be wealthy? You can do a few things to boost your chances of becoming a millionaire, even though no one can predict the future. Investing in assets that increase in value over time is one of the most effective means of earning wealth. However, choosing a starting point can be challenging. Which option is better? And where will you want to put your money to work? 1. You're pissed that you're broke. What are your chances of winning if you play a game solely on defense? Isn't it either extremely low or none? And yet, most people play the money game in the same way. They want to pay their expenses and stay out of debt. It's not a bad plan, but the problem is that if your goal is to stay above water, you'll only get so far. There are, of course, exceptions. Some people save 5 to 10% of their earnings. Invest in the stock market and hope for a 6 to 7% increase in their portfolio. So that when they are elderly, they will have something on which to rely. And it is preferable to nothing. However, more is needed. You can't expect to become financially independent by staying in your comfort zone. Stop playing defense and start playing offensive if you want to earn real wealth. You should begin attacking as soon as possible. Of course, not every single one of your attacks will be effective. Still, you will significantly boost your chances of winning. Those with genuine financial success learn to work in an uncertain environment. So, what does it mean to move beyond your comfort zone? Stepping outside of your comfort zone can involve choosing a job that is above your abilities, learning a new skill, or connecting with new people whose advice you could benefit from. Essentially, it would be best if you gave up your current place in life. Only those not content with their financial situation take steps to improve their situation. In this video, I'd like to wish you luck in advance. Success is unavoidable if you're fortunate enough to have this ambition. 2. You have separated your time and money. How much does Jeff Bezos make? How much do you believe he makes with a roughly $200 billion net worth? Probably in the billions. Nope, not at all. His annual income is slightly more than $81,000. Bez barely makes six digits. You must be wondering how is this even possible? This is not unique to Jeff Bezos. The majority of the world's wealthiest men are paid very little. Because net worth and income are vastly different. Salary is what you make when you trade your time for money, whereas wealth is what you earn when you are not there. Because you only have so much time in a day, it doesn't make sense to focus on your money. That is why wealthy people frequently concentrate on increasing their fortune. So if you are focused on getting wealthy, you are on the right track. 
If you abandon this inefficient money-making paradigm, you'll be one step closer to becoming the wealthy individual you've always desired. Once you let go of the idea that to make money, we must exchange our time for it. Our thoughts become more open to possibilities. 3. You understand the difference between saving and investing for wealth creation. Certain financial advisors advise you to set money aside regularly, spend less than you make, and save the rest. This is a good thing and is called saving. However, you need to understand that saving alone will not make you wealthy and is not the same as investing. You can go to the next phase, assuming you set aside a certain monthly amount for mutual funds. This is an investment. To develop wealth, you must invest in outperforming inflation and consistently following financial plans. Investing is the most reliable and established strategy for becoming extremely wealthy. Millionaires are well aware of this. They look for worthwhile ideas, projects, and businesses to invest in. 4. You have a financial mentor. It's no secret that who you associate with has an impact on how successful you will be. Consider that for a moment. Do you believe that spending most of your time with people who are pessimistic or lack motivation will impact you to be motivated and optimistic? To put it another way, if you want to be wealthy, start hanging out with millionaires. This will not only keep you motivated, but you can locate someone willing to become your mentor and show you the ropes. If you don't know any millionaires personally, don't hesitate to contact them on social media or via email after meeting them at a networking event and begin creating a connection. 5. You have many channels of income. Most millionaires do not put all of their eggs in one basket. They created various income streams. While they go to their regular jobs, they also have other side hustles that bring in extra money. Active work is one way people create new income sources. Most wealthy people begin by exchanging time for money at a job or in their business. Then, they slowly built up the assets they needed to return to work while still making money and watching their bank accounts grow. However, aside from active income, making money while you sleep is another route to financial prosperity. Let's pretend you're a writer. Writing a book or starting a blog with advertising revenue and affiliate and product sales are examples of passive income sources. If you identify with any of these tendencies, you're on your way to accumulating a big fortune. However, it is critical to remember that wealth accumulation is a way of life, not a one-time occurrence. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this video. 8 Methods to Get Wealthy One Day Have you ever wondered how the wealthy do it? How did they get there? What did they do to get there? How can I be like them? Most of us desire to know how to become wealthy quickly. Is there anything hidden? Is there a super secret, by invitation only group, that makes people rich on their own? There is no technique to see the dollars pile up and the cash flow rocket. It is, in fact, a lot of work. But that doesn't make it impossible. This video discusses how you can get wealthy. Without further ado, let's start. 1. Be financially disciplined. When you have financial discipline, you control your money. That is, you are aware of how much money is being taken from you and how much you are receiving. Financial discipline means spending and investing your money wisely without high costs. It is having control over your cash. And a business owner requires financial discipline for two reasons. The first thing is to survive. As an entrepreneur, you will experience many ups and downs during the early stages of your brand. Starting with financial discipline will help you become stable. Then you can buy better equipment and more workers. Second, to keep the cash flow going in the right direction. Your cash flow will stay the same when you stick to the plan you made for how much you will spend and earn. And this will undoubtedly help you in the event of an emergency. 2. Make a budget and start saving. Spending the money as soon as it arrives may be tempting, right? But it would destroy the point. To keep on track, you must set a weekly budget for yourself. You can make modifications as your revenue grows, but don't get too carried away at first. Remember to save the excess. When it comes to budgeting, the 50 to 30 20 rule is excellent. It is recommended that 50% of your income be allocated to living expenditures, 20% to investments and financial objectives, and 30% to flexible spending. Adapting this guideline will keep you from overpaying or placing money where it shouldn't be. 3. Frame your financial goal. 
When you don't have a plan, it's much easier to justify impulsive purchases. This theory goes for most of us. Set a primary goal for yourself at the start of each year, then break it down into three-month quarters so you can track your progress as you go. These small goals make the larger ones appear more attainable and will give you a feeling of whether you're on the right track. One other effective way would be to get your goals framed. Every glance on that frame would be a daily reminder for you. 4. Invest in the right instruments. Endless financial tools are available today in contrast to olden times when bonds and equities were the only available options. However, with so many options, complexity and confusion have increased. Finding the correct investment tools is crucial in such circumstances. A well-balanced portfolio can help you earn higher returns, reduce risk, and build significant wealth over time to meet your financial objectives. 5. Maximize tax savings. Do you know that an important exception to the Internal Revenue Service tax laws is that you only pay taxes on realized capital gains when you sell an investment for cash? That's a massive loophole in the law that you can use. As long as you don't sell, you won't have to pay capital gains taxes, which can be large. You can hold your investments and delay paying capital gains tax forever. So buy and hold investing can help you win in two ways. You'll likely make more money and pay less to the IRS. Try paying taxes or mortgage early. If you need to hit the maximum mortgage interest or property tax deduction, prepay your January mortgage or local taxes by December 31. Same goes for student loans. Lastly, rely primarily on tax-free employer benefits. You can thank me later. 6. Go for the right insurance. A life insurance policy is a necessary investment for everyone to offer financial security to their family against the uncertainties of life. Choose the right sort of life insurance. There are various sorts of life insurance policies on the market that cater to people's multiple demands. Endowment policies and money-back policies can be excellent investments for wealth creation. These policies, in addition to protecting against life hazards, generate excellent profits. More importantly, you have numerous premium payment options. You can pay the premium monthly, quarterly, half-yearly, or annually. While this insurance may not provide significant returns, it provides protection and good returns with minimum risk. 7. Get a side hustle. When you look at the lives of wealthy individuals, you'll see that they don't put all their eggs in one basket. That is not just unsafe but also unwise. Only put some of your money into a profitable venture. You can have most of your investments there, but not all of them. Remember to invest in areas you are knowledgeable about. This keeps you from becoming overly dependent on other people's recommendations to the point where you can only move on their word. There are numerous options for diversifying investments. It still depends on your education, your willingness to learn and stay up with new material, and how much time you have. 8. Invest in potentially successful business. You need to discover ways to expand your income more efficiently to give yourself the freedom to take your business to the next level. That level could be never taking a vacation, hiring additional staff, or buying new goods, but whatever it is, having passive income sources with diverse underlying economics can allow you the opportunity to explore it. The most prevalent sources of income are dividend income from stocks, rent from real estate, royalties, and capital profits from the sale of assets. It could be profit from business or even savings interest. What the rich do not want you to know about money. When people say they want to hit it rich, they usually mean with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Consider a lucky investment, winning the lottery, or pitching an idea on Shark Tank that launches them into the pantheon of millionaires. While it is not impossible to become wealthy in a single shot, the truth is that most new money millionaires did not strike it rich. Instead, they amassed money through careful financial planning, competent assistance, financial literacy, and goal setting. Without further ado, here are the 14 money secrets that the wealthy don't want you to know and how you may use them to your advantage. 1. The key to getting started is to set goals. Wealth is a relative concept. If you're making $25,000 a year, $1 million plus a lay property may appear extravagant. If you're living in Los Angeles on $1 million a year, wealthy definitely means $100 million and a garage full of luxury cars. Because people see and value things differently, it is important to define what wealth means to you and then set goals to get there. 
For example, you may decide to change occupations, establish a family, or become a billionaire by the age of 35. Then it's time to create an action plan with annual goals to get your to-do list completed. 2. Always align your spending with your goals. Keep your spending in line with your goals while you're building money, and after. Know what matters to you, whether it's acquiring a lifestyle, accomplishing feats, or passing on wealth. Then, take care not to waste resources on things and activities that have no value to you, and instead, spend heavily in education, interests, passions, and ambitions that are. Whether that's foregoing restaurants while you take night classes or foregoing a new car to purchase a rental property, investing in things that progress your goals pays off in the long. 3. A solid savings strategy bolsters success. A savings strategy protects and improves your liquidity. While the goal is to save 15 to 20% of your monthly income, starting with 5% is better than nothing. Automating the deposit of a portion of each paycheck into your savings accounts is a wonderful approach to assure regular savings. Putting money aside when you get a bonus, increase, or even Christmas presents might help you accumulate wealth faster. You should also keep a modest, separate emergency fund to meet unexpected expenses. Aim to save 6 to 12 months worth of costs in your emergency fund, then replace it when you spend it. 4. Keeping up with the Joneses is a one-way ticket to Poorville. A luxury lifestyle may appear to be a true reflection of wealth, and for many, it is. However, many rich people drown in debt in order to keep up appearances. Meanwhile, individuals who are truly wealthy often live frugally, invest frequently, and spend within their means. The explanation is simple. The desire to seem wealthy undermines your ambitions and places your money in dead-end investments. The easiest approach to ensure you can afford all the expensive toys you want later is to ignore the impulse to keep up with the Joneses and focus on your own wealth building rather than trying to show off. 5. Build a winning team One of the most important secrets regarding affluent individuals is that they almost never realize what they're doing. They do realize, however, that they can hire someone else to handle their affairs and provide guidance. For example, a fee-only financial consultant can introduce you to new money-making ideas, which your financial lawyer can review for legal implications before your tax professional reduces your tax liability to Uncle Sam. While the first investment may appear to be exorbitant, investing in a support system today boosts your chances of success later. 6. Using other people's time and money helps you get ahead. Being your own boss and using other people's money instead of your own are two of the best ways to become wealthy. You labor as an employee to benefit your boss, and employing your own capital restricts your success to how much you can personally front. However, creating or purchasing a firm, frequently with funds provided from banks or investors, achieves both goals at the same time. If running your own company isn't your thing, you can still use borrowed funds to invest in real estate, the stock market, or someone else's big idea. 7. Fees eat success for breakfast. You subsidize someone else's journey to prosperity every time you pay a charge to manage your money or service a debt. Banking costs, high interest loans, international transaction fees, overdraft fees, ATM fees, investment commissions, mutual fund expense ratios. The idea is that there are numerous costs available, and the more you spend, the less you have. As a result, if possible, use no-fee accounts, low-cost index funds, and credit cards with 0% APR. 8. Keep an eye on your credit card usage or avoid them entirely. Using a credit card pushes you to live beyond your means and pay interest to do so. As a result, many financial experts recommend tearing up your cards, avoiding them entirely, or just using them to achieve your goals. For example, if you use them to pay payments and immediately pay off the balance to boost your credit. If you must use a credit card, seek for rewards cards that offer cash back or air miles, have fraud protection and other benefits such as built-in travel insurance. And never, ever use a store credit card with a high interest rate. 9. Charity is beneficial to both the soul and your wallet. Donating money or supplies to charitable causes is not just honorable. It is also beneficial to your budget. You can deduct charitable gifts to approved organizations if you itemize your tax returns. And the more you can deduct, the less you'll pay in taxes. 10. Make your money work for you. Working hard does not always equal success, which is one of capitalism's unpleasant facts. 
If your primary source of revenue is time exchange, your earnings potential is limited to the amount of hours you labor per week. The wealthy, on the other hand, are aware of capitalism's dirty secret. The genuine path to prosperity is through passive income. Whether it's stock trading, real estate investing, or backing someone else's company concept, anything that pays up unearned profit expands your earning potential beyond the hours in a day. 11. Every minute you waste is one less minute you're wealthy. Your most valuable asset in investing is time. The sooner you begin putting your money to work in the markets, the longer your cash can compound. Even $25 per week is preferable to nothing. Similarly, in the stock market, it is critical to distinguish between time and timing. While one large investment can propel you to riches, you're far more likely to lose money than win big if you gamble recklessly. The wealthy recognize that sticking to a unsexy buy and hold strategy, making regular contributions to a diverse portfolio, is one of the most dependable ways to get rich. 12. Allocation is key. When you invest in the stock market, how you distribute your cash has a huge impact. Dividend-paying bonds, equities, and mutual funds should typically be kept in tax-advantaged retirement accounts, while individual securities should be kept in a brokerage account. This method has three benefits. To begin, it employs government-sponsored tax techniques and spreads your wealth to reduce the impact on your retirement. Simultaneously, diversifying your holdings across accounts and investments ensures that you are not overly engaged in one area. 13. Diversification leads to success. Investing in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds is a good place to start, but it's not the end of the road. Expansion into the liquid or physical assets, such as real estate, gold, and even artwork, can help you secure your wealth as your wealth grows. Though these assets are more expensive upfront and more difficult to sell, there is a reason why becoming a real estate mogul is associated with wealth. And because these assets are less vulnerable to market fluctuations, they can pay handsomely even when other investments fail. 14. As your wealth and confidence develop, consider investing in private marketplaces. One of the most important ultra-wealthy secrets is that the stock market gets your feet wet, but private markets hold the actual riches. Business ownership, angel investing, and other forms of private equity have a higher level of risk than stock market investments. However, their potential greater returns and diversification might do wonders for your portfolio, especially if you're determined to create actual wealth. What so, exactly is SIP? Four advantages of using a systematic investment plan. And SIP investment plan uses the power of compounding to help investors create wealth consistently and regularly over time, regardless of market timing or volatility. Investors want a strong strategy to consistently develop wealth over the long term and one of the finest such techniques is the Systematic Investment Plan, SIP. But what exactly is a SIP, and how might it help investors build wealth? Simply expressed, a SIP is a deliberate and systematic plan that assists investors in gradually and steadily achieving their financial goals. As we all know, developing excellent habits takes effort. That is true for exercise, adopting a diet, and even saving and investing money. A goal without a strategy is just a desire. This is also true when it comes to investing. You will struggle to achieve your financial objectives if you do not create a plan describing how and when you intend to invest. Today, one of the most tried and tested ways to invest successfully is through a systematic investment plan, SIP. And in this video, we'll look at what a SIP is and how it can help you acquire wealth and reach your financial goals over time. We'll go over. 1. What exactly is a SIP investing plan? A strategic investment plan, SIP, is a financial planning instrument that allows investors to generate long-term wealth by putting a certain amount of money in an investment portfolio on a constant and regular basis. Let us unpack this concept by looking at some of its components. Regularity and consistency. To begin, a SIP need consistency and regularity. Mr. Jesse, for example, can invest AED 1000 at the end of each month through a SIP but Mrs. Harris can invest AED 2000 on the 15th of each month through a SIP. While their investing strategies differ, they share two features that make them both SIPs, consistency and regularity. To emphasize the significance of these two factors, consider the following instances. If Mr. James invests AED 1000 in one month, then AED 3003 months and 15 days later, 
and then another AED 2000 the following month, his actions do not qualify as a psych. Assume Mrs. James invests AED 5000 in January and AED 10000 in December. Her actions do not qualify as psych. Only Mr. Jesse and Mrs. Harris are using a psych in the cases above. Definite amount. Also, in addition to investing on a regular basis, every end of the month or 15th of the month, Mr. Jesse and Mrs. Harris invest a specific sum, AED 1000 and 2000, respectively. It's all about developing a habit through regular recurring sums, similar to auto deposits. This is also important for classifying an investing system as a SIP. An investment portfolio, because SIP is consistent and regular, investors in such programs should have an investing portfolio in which they invest on a regular basis. Most SIP investors prefer passive investing, in which they invest a certain amount of money on a regular basis in a portfolio of index funds or ETS. They can accomplish this through a digital wealth manager who designs portfolios tailored to an investor's risk tolerance, time horizon, and present financial status. However, there are psych investors that believe in active investing. These investors choose to build their own portfolios by actively purchasing and selling stocks and ETFs in order to meet their financial objectives. Long-term wealth creation. Building wealth gradually and steadily is the proven approach to become wealthy without falling victim to market timing or questionable investment fats. And SIP guarantees that you will stick to this gradual and steady approach to investing. And SIP Investor devotes cash consistently and regularly to a well-crafted investing portfolio rather than chasing fads. What distinguishes a SIP from a DCA? Many people may be wondering how it differs from a systematic investment plan, SIP. Well, the DTA is a technique in which someone with a lump sum, say, AED 100,000, agrees to invest that lump sum systematically over a long period of time, say AED 10,000 at the end of every month for the next 10 months. This also entails a specific amount invested consistently and on a regular basis until the lump sum is depleted. With a SIP, however, the investor does not set aside the total investable income for periodic investments. Instead, the investor sets aside a portion of their normal income and continually invests that percentage in the market. In this manner, the SIP investor practices what is known as lump sum investing, in which they invest the complete investable income they have available at regular periods, usually every month. The SIP investor is not concerned with placing a large chunk of money into the market all at once. Rather, they are focused with investing their regular income in a methodical manner. Mr. Jesse, for example, does not have AED 12,000 at the start of the year. Instead, he deducts AED 1,000 from his monthly salary. As a result, while the two systems have similar benefits, the mindset varies with SIP because it is employed as a long-term investing plan. 2. How does SIP work? Compound interest is the driving force behind a SIP. To ask what a SIP is is to ask what compounding is. Simply said, compounding is the process through which money earns more money, and that extra money earns more money, and so on indefinitely. Compound interest refers to the extra money that money earns. If an interest earns additional interest that earns additional interest, it is compound rather than simple. This compounding effect is the wealth-creating engine. It was called the eighth wonder of the world by Albert Einstein. But what does it have to do with SEP? SIP encourages investors to participate in the market on a regular and continuous basis, allowing them to earn greater compound interest over time. Similarly, SIP supports the use of lump sum investing, which is a strategy that directs investors to put all of their investable capital into the market at once, often every month after being paid a salary, rather than spreading out the same amount over a longer period of time. This allows investors to spend more time in the market generating the most possible compound interest. Let's use an example to illustrate the two points raised above. The individual who invests AED 5000 at the end of January is better off than the person who invests AED 500 every month for the next 10 months. Why? The former earns compound interest on AED 5000 right away, but the latter only earns compound interest on AED 500. By the end of October, the former would have potentially accumulated higher returns due to compound interest if there was a bull market. This scenario is more plausible than the alternative since the market rises more than it falls, see below. 
However, the individual who invests AED 5000 in January is better off than the person who invests AED 5000 in January and then again in July. When compared to the investor who only invests twice a year, the regular and persistent investor would have earned greater compound returns month after month. The psych investor makes a monthly investment of AED 5000. In the conditions outlined above, he is the one most positioned to profit from the market. 3. What are the advantages of Psype? Now that we've established how Psype works, let's look at some of its advantages. Interest on interest, as we showed in the last section, a systematic investment plan, Psype, generates more potential wealth building channels through compounding than other unsystematic investment methods. In a bear market, there is an opportunity for protection because a Psype comprises a set amount that is continuously and routinely invested it provides some benefits akin to dollar cost averaging DCA. One of these is loss mitigation in a down market. Possibility of gaining long-term exposure benefits. Instead of saving your money and investing a portion of it on a regular basis, SIP encourages lump sum investing, which means investing whatever you have all at once. Instead of procrastinating and waiting for a more opportune period, the SIP investor spends longer time in the market, collecting maximum compound income from the start removes emotional investment fear and greed according to warren buffett are two emotional impediments to effective investing fear happens when prices are falling in bear markets while greed happens when prices are rising in bull markets while the former leads to individuals selling at a loss the later leads to people buying just as the market is about to correct this fear and greed cycle can be broken with sight SEP investors, as we have seen, can endure bear markets better rather than being terrified. Furthermore, bull markets allow them to earn compound interest on all of their wealth-generating routes. Furthermore, because SIP investors are long-term investors and the market rises more than it falls, as shown in the graph below, they can be relaxed and secure in their plan while others are scared or greedy. Between 1926 and 2019, the CRSP US whole stock market index performed well. The market increased 74% of the time and sank 26% of the time between 1926 and 2019. Over this time span, the SIP investor who was committed to the long term would have gained. Increases the discipline required for effective investing. A commitment to a strategic plan assists investors in developing the discipline required to attain their financial objectives. We won't accomplish much if we simply invest when we feel like it, because spending is more natural than investing. However, by investing consistently and frequently through a SIP, we acquire control over our resources. SIP investors who use passive investing can even use automatic investing, which ensures that a set sum is automatically taken from their accounts and deposited into their investment portfolios on a set date. 4. How safe are SIP plans? When it comes to the security of SIP plans, three factors must be considered. Time in the market lowers risk. Site plans remove emotion from investing. Instead of fretting about how the market will perform this month or next, the site investor commits a certain amount to the market on a steady and regular basis. Is this however safe, especially while the market is falling? For one thing, we've already mentioned that site investors, like DCA investors, can find additional security in a weak market by getting more shares for the same amount over a period of downturn. The second argument to make is that the more time an investor stays in the market, the less likely it is that they will lose money. As a result, by staying in the market for the long run, psyched investors may ignore intermediate volatility and instead concentrate on the eventual goal. According to the data, investors who stayed in the market for only one month between 1926 and 2019 had a 38% probability of losing money. At the other end of the spectrum, people who invested for 15 years between 1926 and 2019 had a 0.2% probability of losing money. As previously stated, the market grew 74% of the time from 1926 and 2019. Investing persistently in the market without regard for current market volatility will be rewarding in the long run. Saipi provides an approach for doing so in this manner. That's all fellas. Thank you for watching. Please leave your opinions in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.